Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about resizing MemSQL Helios clusters. We're going to open up MemSQL Studio and connect to the cluster we created previously. We'll look at the nodes and partitions in our cluster. We'll talk about data skew. And finally, we'll edit the size of our cluster. So let's dive in. When we have a MemSQL cluster, we have a master aggregator responsible for the health of the cluster. We have various child aggregator machines that users will connect to to run queries. And then we have leaf nodes that will store the data in partitions. In this case, we have four leaf nodes. And let's assume that our database has 12 partitions. So currently, each leaf node will have three partitions and our machine is balanced. Now, if we were to scale this from four leaf nodes to five leaf nodes, then some of the leaf nodes would end up with three partitions, and some of the leaf nodes would end up with two partitions. Our cluster will continue to work fine, but we're wasting some memory on some of the machines. So if we were instead to scale from four machines to six leaf nodes, then we would end up with two partitions per leaf node, and our cluster would again be balanced. We wouldn't be wasting any memory. I've entered my username and password. Let's log in. Pulling up our clusters, we launch our demo cluster. And here's the magic button that will open MemSQL Studio. Log into MemSQL Studio. And let's look at the number of nodes. We see here that we have four leaf nodes. Switching to our database view, we see that the AdTech database has 32 partitions. 32 partitions across four nodes means that each node has eight partitions. Now, as we look through these partitions, we notice that there's not just 32 partitions, there's 32 master partitions and 32 slave partitions. So the data is not just on one machine. As we dig into the information schema table, we can take a look at how many rows are in each partition, the memory used by each partition, and we can get a great sense of how our database is doing. This query shows us the data skew across our database. Right now we're showing 0.5% data skew. How much more or less memory is used by a particular partition? I pulled this data skew query from the docs page that discusses data skew. And if we scroll down, we can see that n% percent variation in the number of rows or memory allocated, anything less than 10% is doing just fine. We have 0.5% data skew, so we're doing great. So we have 32 partitions across four nodes. Let's scale that up. I'll come back into the portal, and I'll choose to edit the size of my cluster. Now, if we were to scale from four nodes to six nodes, those 32 partitions wouldn't necessarily be evenly distributed across the machines. Some machines would have six partitions. Some machines would have four partitions. So six units is probably not a great scale for us. Let's instead choose to scale up to eight units. When we have eight units, we're ensured that each unit, each leaf node, will have four partitions. This is the correct size for us. Let's choose eight units, choose to scale up. Now our database is going to be online the entire time while we're resizing our cluster. Switching back to our cluster view, we can look at our data skew, and we see that our system is still balanced. We talked today about resizing a MemSQL Helios cluster. Because it's a managed cloud, we didn't need to rack any new hardware. We just changed the size of our cluster. We looked at nodes and partitions. With our 32 partitions, 
we wanted to choose a node size that would evenly balance those partitions across all the nodes. We moved from four nodes, not to six nodes, but to eight nodes to ensure that we would have four partitions per node in our new cluster. We pushed save, and our cluster was online the entire time.